you, uh, Council of Freedom, uh, Robert Santeri Jr., uh, 30 Eagan Road, Grants of Rhode Island. There's two things I want to talk about real quick. One is, so we talked about a lot of events tonight a little bit. Um, is there, this is a constructive way, is there any way we can possibly get the unofficial minutes online for some of the committee meetings before the end of four time month goes by? Because, for example, the rules committee meeting happened earlier this month. Once well, they just take the last month's council meeting where the minutes came online, I don't know how much burden it'll be to put them online sooner, at least under the five minutes of capacity. But since the special committee meetings are currently filled, and City Hall isn't exactly open when a lot of people are working, like myself, I work at 8.30 or 5.30, so there's no way I'm taking City Hall. Uh, not driving to Lincoln, drive 40 minutes to come here, and then get a copy of unofficial minutes and then go back to lunch break. And I think that it would be beneficial to people when it comes to these meetings too, to have an understanding of the minutes, because if, like for example, if I came to the, I didn't, I didn't come to the watch meeting because I had something else going on, and the minutes came out the last morning, but if I didn't look, I wouldn't see those minutes until May. So I technically wouldn't know what's going on to that meeting unless I found the video online until May. And I think that is the problem because it just, it, it want to make people more than city aware as soon as possible. And the other thing I just want to speak about real quick is I know there's a lot of feelings going around. A lot of words being tossed around about the dark car. And I think that no matter where you stand, the issue with it before, before you against it, I think that it was a very poor, it was pulling up from optics point of view. I think that even if you accept negotiations so the field have to be done secretly, like a like, 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 like negotiation, I think that having a press conference before the mayor or anyone on the council, who some of you in this room supported, spoke to anyone directly in the dark pop neighborhood, I think that made a lot of people angry. Again, I came here in February and spoke about God City and the lack that people are angry because they feel left out and cold in decision making. And it's happening again. And then the same thing with the rules, and it happens again. And it can be avoided. Instead of having to make clarifications about the rules, instead of having the mayor having to withdraw the motion at hand because people were mad. And I was there at that press conference. A lot of them, and I'll give the mayor credit, he spent, he spent 20, almost a half hour of his time there taking questions from people, which he didn't have to, he did. But at the same time, they were just saying, Mr. Mayor, Alan, why didn't you come talk to us? Why didn't you come ask us about this? Because this is a bad deal. It was a bad deal. 40% of the time during the day, almost 60% if you include the kids that only at school, they would have had access to that deal. And the, that group has every single right to get as much money as they're worth out of that deal. Now, on the weekends, during the summer, during the peak summer hours of July 1st to the second of August, so at 85% of the time, they would have had exclusive rights in that field. That's a bad deal. That's a very bad deal. But it's all moved now, it's made it through, it's what it is. But this will happen again because there'll be other deals down the road. But I don't think, but again, I think that the people here feel left out in the cold. And I hear a lot about open meetings laws and, you know, do the ethics laws and we have to follow this, we have to follow that. We shouldn't be a government of the bare minimum here in Kansas. 2017. We shouldn't have a government where, you know, transparency is the last thing we've got to think about. It should be the first thing. You know, we shouldn't be debating whether or not these meetings should be recorded. It should be how do we, how do we get more people in here? And so it's not three people unless people are pissed off to come in here. You know, these, you know, what we saw before when you guys talked about whacking each other across the head with, you know, uh, parliamentary stuff in the majority party and minority party. That's the kind of stuff that makes people lose faith in government. That's the kind of stuff that makes people not want to show up. You know, I strongly encourage all of you, I'll wrap it up, I strongly encourage all of you to try to work together on these things. You know, I was talking to the gentleman before, I mean, he's right. 90% of the time, you guys are here. It's the 10% that you got to figure out somewhere in the middle. It's 5-4, you, you know, I, and the thing is, is that one other thing I want to say to the Republicans in the committee, I have known some of you, I take your word, and I strongly suggest that you try to not look like a rubber stamp for the mayor. Because I think that's going to cause a lot of optics issues as well. So thank you for your time this evening, and thank you for listening to my Thank you very much. Thank you, Senator.